a, a mí me gustaba ella. ¿Una mujer? Sí. No pensé que todavía te podía llamar la atención el hecho de, de estar con una mujer. Lo disfruto mucho. Even though I identify myself as gay, I'm actually bisexual. I've always been attracted to both men and women, and I have dated women before, but all my serious relationship has been with men. When I met Michelle, I feel attracted to her, and I actually started feeling some romantic feelings for her. But Michelle didn't feel the same way about me. So we just became really good friends, and I continue, you know, dating Valentine. Yo se lo dije a Valentine. Y él, desde entonces, siente que Michelle tiene como una influencia sobre mí. They didn't have sex, but they were intimate. So I was like, well, okay, uh, so do you like her? <laughs> do you want to be what? Because <laughs> I'm polyamorous. Right. Right, but I know you're not polyamorous. Right. So I'm polyamorous. That means I have the capability to love more than one person intensely and passionately. But Carlos felt very threatened by that. And so this situation bothered me because he was expressing to me a great amount of feelings for this person. He didn't have sex with her, but he told me she would lay on his chest and they would have intimate talks and all of these things. I know he would lose his mind if I told him I was doing that. He's like, no, I love you, I want to be with you. But I told him, but I did not feel comfortable with you hanging out. Right. I kept thinking, if Carlos is not polyamorous and he's developing all of these feelings for Michelle, then what does that mean about his feelings for me? Is there a chance that he could leave me for Michelle? Pero a ti te gusta Michelle. No, actualmente no. O sea, actualmente ella es mi amiga. Yo la veo como una amiga. O sea, no pasó nunca nada. O sea, yo... Tiene una pareja, ya tiene un, un novio. Y Valentine no ve nada de eso. Él, porque pasaba mucho tiempo con ella, siente que a mí todavía me gusta. So he agreed he wasn't going to see her anymore. And I found out a couple months later that they were still hanging out. I felt like betrayed. So when she comes up, it's just been a hot button topic. Hace tres semanas, nosotros terminamos. Yo había cancelado todo este tema del matrimonio. What? Yes. I mean, we got back together a few days later. Which... No, 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 no. But... <laughs> You're about to get married in two weeks, and a few weeks ago you broke up? I, I... I mean, listen to yourself. What happened about Michelle that you broke up over her? Carlos wants Michelle to come to the wedding. Tato, ¿estás seguro que te quieres Michelle? O sea, que Michelle va a ir al matrimonio. Claro que sí. Tú sabes que él de este tema es muy sensible, pero necesito que entienda que no pasa nada y que ella es una amiga. ¿Qué would you say? I mean, my first reaction was. No, oh. she yeah. cannot come to the wedding. Well, you, you don't feel comfortable with it, then she should not be coming. That's what I said. So we came to an agreement that I would hang out with her, and if I get a cool vibe and they're cool, I won't have a problem with her coming to the wedding. 